Labour is screwed. It doesn't even figure into charts, except that there needs to be an unlimited supply of cheap labour. Because cheap labour makes bad consumers, the Fed said with this chart that they'll encourage cheap labour to spend money they don't have and fill the holes in their budgets by borrowing. This way, they will be good consumers and prop up the economy while also enhancing their noble status as debt slaves. Translation written also in Spanish Every living thing must continually seek for the enlargement of its life. Because life, in the mere act of living, must increase itself. Wealth can be created. But we must bring it to exist. One year from now, we all can be happy that we started growing in wealth, just understanding this simple concept. Imagine our future. Can you imagine a new ecosystem leaving behind all the intelligent life as we know it today? We might still be alive but, what about us poor people and low-income people? And our lives? What about our children's lives? And what about the lives of the children of our children? And our work? and their work. Is the new technology threaten our sources of survival now? And what about in the future? Imagine robots everywhere. How do you feel about it? Are you a minimum waged worker? Could a robot take your job? What if? Just imagine. Robots doing the job of human pickers. Robots doing the job of human dishwashers. Imagine public transportation without human drivers. Machines doing the job of a landscaping worker. Imagine synthetic green grass being vacuumed by machines. Machines doing the job of human constructor workers. Imagine factories of houses where they construct the walls in one day, and they ship them, and they deliver them, and they assemble them. To own a piece of the future, crowdfunding now is an opportunity. Let us all invest by putting some of our money on my crowdfunding now. Together today, we can take ownership of our dreams, making those dreams a reality, at any time we want. My crowdfunding campaign it is set with a limit of 12 million dollars US dollars. That is not a lot of money compared to other low-income people, living only in the US. Jenks Investing Squad, Recruiting for Wealth. I am requesting authorization to initiate a crowdfunding campaign in the US by using the following tools Craigslist, YouTube videos, billboards, bulletin boards, flowers and brochures, direct mail, TV commercials, radio announcements, fair and marketing booths, internet ads, websites and search engines, direct and personal approach. Allow me, to initiate periodical financial hearings in every community. Educate families about money. 
listen to the people's economic concerns, and provide financial solutions. Encourage people to micro-invest. Explain about the risks of investing, and the benefits of my crowdfunding campaign. Selecting the best teams from our contributors to achieve the most in infrastructure, productivity, research, education and skills, development, innovation, investments, continually updating our management and leadership skills with training from the most experienced business mentors and advisors focusing in timely hold and exchange of resources for solvency and comfort for all. With continually updated security software to safeguard the identity of our contributors. It is estimated that at least 11% of US eligible voters do not count with proper identification. This is not counting the non-eligibly voters. Let's get together and invest some of our money in solar energy farms, new medicine approved by the FDA, like ET. 73 Aerial Engineering Commercial Real Estate Multifamily Units Modern Architecture New Technology Robots and Robotics The Internet of Things Factory Line Houses Drinking Water and more Profit and Reinvest and profit and reinvest profits contributors will benefit obtaining less complicated business loans personal loans student loans in motion to crowdfund for their wealth and mine. Jenks Investing Squad https slash slash reach dot dot com slash GNX Investing Squad for the wealth and growth of all. Thank you. Sincerely, Martha J.A.